Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Have you ever hit conditions when the catfish chest will not bite no matter what you do? Well, stay tuned. We're going to talk about what the problem might be. All right, guys, I might have a fish here in the mud bowl. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Sitting here in the mud bowl, the tree pile, whatever you want to call it, man. I got trees floating down through here. I got leaves. I got pieces of boats, boat docks. I got all kinds of stuff. I'm hooked up on a fish. We've had a lot of rain, three inches of rain across this basin and decided to come out and try a little bit. Uh, keep an eye upstream. I've got a tree over there. It went that away, so we're good there. Uh, the good thing about here is, relatively speaking to you guys that fish the major, major rivers, uh, where I'm at, we're not getting fast current here at all. It's a reservoir. Basically, the lake is filling up. So the rivers that are dumping in are relatively slow down here toward the river or toward the lake. So nothing's gonna come slamming into us and suck us underwater like you guys on the big rivers, but it can end up being a mess with your anchors and everything. So I'm keeping a lookout. On up in the rivers, it's stroking pretty good, but the dam fed ones are somewhat stifled right now. They're kind of minimizing how much water they're putting in here, mainly so they can get it out on the other end. So, but we got one. We're hooked up on one here. See what it looks like. This is on a Catfish Pro reel. Plenty of line capacity. It'll do the trick. Decent fish. He's feisty. He is feisty. There he is. There he is. Let's see if we can get him over here. Oh, it's hard to see in that mud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Things are hard to see when they're buried down there in the mud. Heck yeah, we will take that all day long, guys. Big male, got that river rain looking body. He's out trying to get him something to eat. Decent sized fish in the teens. Good one to have in all this mud out here. Happy to be out here. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. Hey, anytime you can get a fish, it's a good day fishing. Let's get it back alive. Now guys, this video was shot over the course of three days in the winter time. Winter time can be tough fishing no matter what. The bite slows down, metabolism slows down for the fish. They just don't feed as much. But generally speaking, where I fish, you can still put some fish in the boat. Now, for whatever reason, during this time frame, things got really, really bad. You'll notice that there is a lot of muddy water. Generally, our lakes are really, really clear. We had an inflow of water, a lot of water, a lot of rain. The lake went up a lot. It created some very, very muddy water. We'll talk more in a minute about what that could result in happening. But the one thing we were noticing, I was noticing, everybody fishing lake wide was noticing was the bite had come to a halt. Boom, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. Smaller fish, but guess what? I have to have one. This point is working better than the first place I went to. The first place I tried, did not have a single bite. Tried another place, did not have a single bite. Down here, a little more action, a few more fish. I think he's liftable. Yes, it is. Yes, he is. Boom. Blue cat got a little mud on it. Heck yeah. Small piece of bait. I'll put a few small ones out. Got a little mud color on her. Okay. A light color. They get light in the muddy water. Don't know why that is. You put them in real clear water, they get dark. You put them in uh, dark water, they get light color. See that there, good looking fish, it's back alive. Now one of the things you get with this muddy water is a change in the pH. That's basically the way the water feels to the fish. This can affect what goes on, not only with the catfish that we were trying to catch, but also what happens with the bait. On all of these trips, the bait was scattered out tremendously. It was not balled up like it normally is. That's part of the problem. Also, there's a lot of debris in the water, leaves, sticks, twigs. All this changes the dynamic of what's going on. Now, generally speaking, a rise in the water like we had with the inflow is good. It's a good thing. It, it, it sparks a bite, but 
depending on the reservoir, depending on the river, depending where you're at, fish can react differently to that. Add in the fact that it's wintertime, and I'll go into more in a minute on what that effect had on this, it was just not working, no matter where we went. You think we're catching all these fish on one trip? This took several trips. You're going to see the water change and some clothes change in this video because, man, this was a few fish I caught over two or three days that I strung together to show you that it's not always one fish right after another, no matter how much you fish or where you're fishing. Guys, this is a good example of how bad wintertime fishing can be. Beautiful day, beautiful temperatures. First bite I've had in two hours of fishing out here. Man, I have gone a long way to, a long way. And this is the first rod I've had move crazy. I did have one move, it got hung and I broke it off. But dude, we covered a lot of water and it is a beautiful day out here. It's in the 60s, uh, virtually no wind lake stable uh, i tried some stuff in the upper part of this reservoir in the river there's a little bit of dingy water from some of the inflow that we've had didn't even have a bite pulled up there for about three quarters of a mile ran down here got into the river channel i'm still in the upper part of the reservoir it's kind of riverine but you know it's 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 the upper part of the lake and dragged river channel had a lot of fish in it it even had small fish. I was just trying to catch something small and couldn't get anything to hit. It had a mix of what appeared to be catfish, appeared to be uh, some uh, crappy uh, white perch, shad. There was everything in there. Dragged that for about a half, three quarter of a mile. Never had a bite. Came up out of it. I'm adjacent to the river channel, the deeper part. This is the first bite that I have had. There we go. Let's get this baby up here netable is he liftable tell you what when you only got one fish to get a picture of you better net it there it is there he is boom in the net if you're gonna catch one catch one in the teens what about a 13 pound fish it's not huge man got a lot of mud on it piece of good old chicken for bait ah, it ain't that big it ain't 13 that's probably about a 10 11 pound fish cold a lot of mud on it covered a lot of water to get one fish let's get it back alive now the great thing on the lake that i fish you can run around and try to hit different water it's not all muddy it's not all clear one of the things i was looking for was some of the cleaner water flowing in from the lake above us uh, what was happening with that was we were actually getting some slightly warmer water coming in one of the things i alluded to earlier was that the water temperature before all this rain came in was around 59 degrees not exactly cold by any means but after we got the cold rain three inches of cold rain over a period of about 36 hours the temperature in the lake dropped to around 52 degrees that drop is one of the things that probably added to what was going on with stopping the bite stopping the fish from feeding so i actually went looking around for some warmer water in hopes that maybe that would help put some fish in the boat but i had one other thing that well was kind of haunting me and hanging around. We'll get to that in a minute after the next fish. Guys, I may have a fish picking up and swimming off with this bait here. I can't tell if he's on there. It's a very weak bite if it is. Can't tell how much of it's boat and how much of it's fish. Boom, it's a fish. It's like that fish just picked it up and sat back down with it. I'm not sure what I got on this. I've got an equal spread of chicken and perch in here that's a little bit of current it's nice it's a muddy dirty water let's see what we got here decent fish i think he's liftable he's an eater if i was eating him i'd eat this one. Oh yeah the little fat thing was bigger than i thought he hit a stop it pretty sure it's a piece of chicken on this one yep that's the chicken bait stop making a mess you hooked yourself again ah oh, dang nice 10 12 pound fish good one piece of chicken and some mud get him back alive 
Again, managed to pluck off some fish. I had to cover some water to do it. The one thing that was hanging around that was haunting me was, well, during this period, we had a full moon, a bright moon. Uh, that can sometimes help with the bite. Generally, I found it's better at night. In this particular case, I think it was just another piece of the puzzle of the dropping water temperature, the rise in the water, the muddy water, the pH change, and add in a full moon to all of this, and it was just a recipe for disaster, a struggle to catch fish. But here's the deal, guys. Bad bites don't last forever. Uh, it will get better. You just have to get out there and keep swinging that bat, hoping to get a base hit. Maybe you'll hit a home run. You just have to keep going at it. And, uh, you know, sooner or later, those fish are going to get hungry. They're going to eat, and you're going to want to be there to catch them.